We are back to the final game between World Lead Academy and Gamti. I'm Frosker and joined on the cast with Raz. Raz, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How about you? <laughs> it's getting pretty late for me, and I still got one more set after this. But I'm going to go ahead and, and flash the bracket onto the screen. This is not the most updated bracket. The only changes is DK and Wings of Aurora. Wings of Aurora is no longer in the expansion tournament. They have been knocked out. DK has moved to the next step, and they will face whoever loses this match. Meanwhile, whoever wins this match will be qualified for the LPL expansion and will face Energy Pacemaker down the line. I would like this moment of silence for Wings of Aurora and whoever, well, I guess whoever loses this matchup, so <laughs> take your bets, folks. But obviously this is a very important night because the last two teams will be knocked out. There are only six remaining teams. Eight teams started this tournament, but only four will qualify. So by the end of the night, we will know all four teams that will be joining the LPL for the next split. It's going to be really interesting to see how everything forms up because once the four teams are pretty much decided, that's when I feel like everything's going to start coming into place. Like, that's when rosters will start. All, this is all, I, I could be completely wrong. And lately, I've just, I feel like I have been. But, <laughs> like, that's, like, rosters will start forming. This is how I start conversations all the time. I'm going to say something, but I totally could be completely, absolutely wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, yep, uh, take my word for what it is, folks. Uh, it just feels like the teams that will come Were we southern out, there? Were we... <laughs> Oh please, I don't wanna. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I can't, I li as I said, I, if I try for one accent, it goes completely awry, and suddenly you'll find out is that a Ugandan accent? What is this? What is he doing with his life? We got really, we branched out there really quick, but we are in to pick some band phase. This is gonna be World Lead Academy versus Gamti W E A on the blue side, Gamti on the red side again. Either team is one game away from their LPL dreams. The tournament will not be over, but they will have qualified themselves. Zillion, Jace, and Lee Sin taken off the table. Mystic is never going to get that pick. Never, ever. If he thought that for an instant that was going to happen, then he was sorely mistaken. At, the, at some point, he's just got to start like wishing and praying, start throwing coins into fountains, just hoping that like one day he'll get the Lee Sin pick. But please, what's happening with these Twitch fans? What's like... I don't know. All right. I'm just going to let it happen. You you may recognize LSPL players better than I can. Correct mm. me if I'm wrong, or you may just not even know. I believe that the middle caster here is actually Ari, previously of World League Academy. I, okay, I'm, I'm not sure. So um, we're going to have to like, I believe LSPL. it is. I know he's a caster for LSPL. Yeah, um, he is. And I know that the guy on the right was also a former player. I'm totally spacing what team. I want to say it was one of the Energy Pacemaker teams when they were still Energy Pacemaker Hong Kong, but it's completely spacing me. I'm just looking at his face, and I'm like, I know that guy. I'm pretty bad with faces when it comes to these. So I really, like, rely on names and pretty much. So if there's a name change, which happens often, I'll just be like, I don't know, like, I have no idea. Someone help me. <laughs> Either way, Mystic is going to go ahead and pick up the... Uh, Kha'Zix, so three for three right here. We'll see if he's able to make this one connect. Syndra, though, has a 100% win rate for this series and has been picked up on Gamti. No. Please don't. No, no, don't do this. Okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> if he was going to pick up the... Wait, please don't pick LeBlanc. Don't do it. She I, may I'm, be looking for round round two. I'm, I'm begging you. Do you want to win this game? <laughs> like, do you... Do you uh, I feel like it's probably just a joke. All right, we got to... Gotta take the... He, he locked it in. Alright, so... Galio, anybody? Is that a thing? No, I mean... Rise and Galio are still available. Both champions are up, and I feel like he's the reason why they have this up is because, of course, Syndra was picked, so they picked the LeBlanc into it, since there's no chance for LeBlanc... Uh, Syndra going into the top lane, but... Uh... We've seen any top lane. That is a thing. Fire Lolly, anyone? Good old Fire Lolly. And I, just the name itself, I feel bad. Is every he single playing? Time I say the name. Uh, is he still going to be sub, or do you know if they're going to move him to EDGF? I hear that he was going to play for EDG. Uh, for EDG, even. even There are so many rumors coming out. It's hard to say. I am so excited for this Fiddlesticks lock-in, though. So we have yet to see a Fiddlesticks jungle. It's mostly been Kha'Zix, Lisa, and Jarvan. But here we go. We got him locked in. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The Fiddlesticks jungle. I'm trying to remember, rack my brain the last time I saw that. I think it was... Oh, it was in the TGA, but I forgot. I completely forgot which game. It was somewhere in the semifinals. So, yep. Uh, take that one for a minute. Was it Illusion? 
It wasn't. It was. It was just like one of the LSPL qualifier games. I see. I see. Where the jungler just decided he was gonna completely cheese him every game. It was gonna be like, oh, fiddlesticks, uh, Ramus. Rest uh, in I'm peace, gonna... Illusion. You were my favorite. I love Illusion. Uh, can we have like a IG kind of like fanfare here? No, I don't know. A moment of silence for Invictus Gaming and their sister team, Young Glory, because they were the first team knocked out of the LPL expansion. Young Glory. I just, I'm so sad. But the Angu might find a good place, maybe even on IG, you never know. <laughs> but the dream is still alive for World League Academy and Gamti Gamti. Hovering over their last rotation, looks like they're thinking about the Maokai into the Aurelia Khan. Found great success on that last game, so you know he's not thinking about that lightly. Yeah, I think this is a really good composition from Gam T. They have such a great team fight coming off of Fiddlesticks. It's like uh, Fiddlesticks, Maokai, and. Oh Sandra? god, why am I. Sandra. I was about to say Lissandra. Why is this happening? Okay. But yeah, this is. It's a really solid composition, and they have the. Lucian, Janna for a lot of A, the great team fight potential off of uh, Janna and the laning, just like the superior laning that's going to come out, come out of that. That said, World League Academy pretty much running the exact same composition that they ran last time to victory. The only difference is that they traded out their Syndra for a LeBlanc, which do very similar things. And the fact that they're going to try to make one person disappear and trading out the uh, Janna for the Thresh. I think I can call it the kind of like a magic comp because it's almost magic how fast someone can die it's just like you blink for a second you look like where did he why is there a body where a, a lively human being was once was so it's like it's it's nice to i don't know i don't think it's nice for the person who died i'm just gonna refrain from that out of respect i, I just you know. got my telegram in from kelsey as it came across my desk and to my understanding so far at lplen fire lolly will jungle for edg while clear love will supposedly play for edgf Okay, I heard that, and I'm, I was really sad when I heard about that, because I honestly think that Kish is playing superb. I'm just going to call him by his new name. This is his new name, folks. He's Chinese now, and he's Move now. I guess that he just kind of changed to an English name, so I can't even say that. But yeah, Move has been playing really well. He has so much synergy right now with uh, Baimi in the mid lane, so I'm kind of sad that that would happen, because I feel like if you bring bring that uh, clear love in there suddenly that you a you lose the synergy and b it's just like well i don't know clear love didn't really uh, i can't say that i guess if you put him in clear love started the sight stone jarvan so you need to take back whatever it is that you're about to throw down on that because we've already <laughs> seen that in this tournament did not win the game but it was there but right, we, <laughs> we are into the last game of this best of three world League academy versus gamti it is one one whoever wins here will qualify for the lpl whoever loses here dream is still alive they're just going to move into the losers bracket to face dk the winner of that team will be the final team to qualify for the lpl expansion again by the end of tonight we will know all four teams that will be joining here we go can i name all of them off edg omg star hole world club invictus gaming lgd snake king and world elite bam Eight. You yeah. did it. Plus, you did it. Plus the four, which is now Energy Pacemaker. Uh, who's no, the other one they call? Vici Gaming. Yeah. And either DK, GamT, or World League Academy. I think we need like a high five going here. Just I like, did that without a note. That was all from memory. Someone hire was, me. Yep. Someone. Please. Someone. As Mystic gets chased out of his own jungle from a very aggressive Fiddlesticks blue invade here. Looks like it will be a lane swap coming in to put Khan down on his Aurelia. That's a alright idea. That's a pretty solid one. I just... I don't know. I wanted to... like. I feel like the Malkai Pimp Slap was just a really lovely touch to pushing him out of the jungle. Speed of Pimp Slap! Khan just turned straight on tail, made him eat that equilibrium strike and was like, Get out of my lane! <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna back? Oh wait, actually, what's happening here? I okay, think he's no, just he's trying to get the level two. Yeah, he's just, he's gonna commit the lane. All right, that's perfectly fine. And likewise, Shie with the classic W start on LeBlanc as opposed to the Q is all about shoving that wave. Yeah, and because six was in the blue side enemy jungle, just I guess to make a rapid he got search. The, uh, he got the blue buff. Oh, because okay, Fiddlesticks um, traded his blue buff. So both junglers okay, do sense. have blue. Um, Neither of them cleared the camp, so second rotation jungle will be a little wonky, especially for Fiddles, unless he's going to hand off that second tier blue to Syndra. We'll see whether Syndra's going to go Athene's or Hourglass. 
Should go with Eans against yeah. LeBlanc for the MR, but I've seen Stranger Things. Yep, uh, it's going to be pretty much, actually. Uh, this lane will be interesting to watch. It's pretty much going to go in LeBlanc's favor for the first couple levels, and then suddenly uh, Syndra will just, like, the moment she reaches level 6, uh, there goes her shenanigans, so... Power dynamic changes a little bit up on that lane. Meanwhile, CS across the board, let's check in on the AD carries. Lucian actually quite favorable right now. I think is a little bit ahead in his wave just because he's more pushed. SMLZ creating quite a large wave against himself. This game, pretty slow, looking like a solid two, actually. Okay, we talk about that mentality of uh, best of series and how typically the last game will always go late just because teams don't want to throw away a game on a possible early shenanigans. We were, I feel like we're finding that shenanigans because I was wondering where the support, the, where the thresh was, and he's just roaming around, and it's really, it's interesting how he will, actually it looks like he's just posturing back to the bottom lane. I wanted to see more out of that. You could have, ah, uh, oh well, kind of sad about that, lost opportunities. But yeah, no shenanigans, game three, it feels like the teams will just probably be looking to play this game out, not for as long as they can, but for until they reach a very definitive power spike that they're confident in. Khan taking quite a bit of harassment from Tail. Lucian finds a very big power spike once he's level 3, just because he has now all of the abilities to proc his passive. Oh, but here comes the gank. Khan does find the stun. Teleport being engaged, and immediately World Elite Academy backs out. Teleport is cancelled, but does save Tail's life. Yeah, that was a pretty good teleport. It was able to just disengage uh, Kha'Zix immediately. Um, yeah, Lucian will... Actually, it really is having such a good time in this lane. She's able to farm out extremely well. It's pushing into her tower as well. Well, let me is just not, ha is a, not a happy camper here. Does have his little sapling. Like you said, the difference between World Lead Academy and Lucian right now is the fact that World Lead Academy has frozen their wave, whereas Tail, like you said, is shoving this into Khan, so he's able to pick up that big CS difference. 21 to 8 between these top laners. John is going to go, come down, hold Maokai's hand, possibly help him out. Mm -hmm. Not sure if it's going to work out all too well because of the synergy between the two. But And she doesn't exactly create too much pressure on her own. She's very reliant on just adding the AD onto whoever she's with, so... Eh, this isn't the best for I'm them. telling you, Damn. it's like the song, the AD carry Malkai. He really should just have uh, bought that Doran's Blade, maybe go, like, went out all out. Maybe Trinity Force. Start smacking people. Trinity IE. I want to see that, please. So far, either jungler have been pretty quiet on the western front as opposed to that early gank that Mystic had on the top lane. Fiddlesticks yet to really show his face anywhere on the map, so we'll see where he's going to strike first. And speaking of strike, there's the descent on Janna, takes him down to half health, is going to shield himself, walk away, no flashes or summoners burn, but only takes one. They really should reset these matchups. I feel like Malkai should go back into the top lane for the 1v1 because this isn't working out for him, and Janna is not the answer to this. It really isn't. He's able to see us somewhat, kind of, all right, but Kha'Zix will be able... No, he's actually getting to the mid lane, okay. And with Kha'Zix getting the... Uh, or with World Elite Academy getting the dominance in that bot lane there with that initial trade, Kha'Zix was able to run up and place a pink ward on Fiddlesticks Blue, so see if they're going to be able to contest that. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, here we go, Fiddlesticks finally appearing, gets the change CC silence on Shie. He is forced to back out, but Mystic is flashing after Syndra picks up the first blood. Yep, we're not able to see... Will really he find the turnaround? There's the chain lockout. Mystic gets the isolation the proc, forces it. Oh! And she it goes with, with the distortion will walk away with 11 HP blinking oh, red. That was great. All right, hashtag LeBlanc. That that is that's why you should play LeBlanc, folks. Great champion. Mm -hmm. I never. I definitely didn't say the champion was a bad pick earlier. <laughs> And with that, Willie Academy spikes up with the first two kills, take a 1k gold advantage. With the second rotation of the jungle about to spawn and the blue buff warded up, will Mystic and Shie look to burn this strength in contesting that buff? Find out yeah. next time. Uh, uh, summoners Rift Z? Question mark? Possibly? I wish I could do the, the voice. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. On uh, Dragon Ball Z. You do better than I do. Only because, like, I got the, the dawn has arrived. There we go. See, I can't do that. The dawn has arrived. 
I See, can that's barely horrible. Drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's far better than me, please. But yeah, two pink wards on the side of um, game T. It's really, I don't know how they'll be able, uh, three pink wards even. Hmm. They'll be able to position for this dragon quite well if they use him correctly. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, Gamti has swapped back. Asimil Z did eat a, quite a bit of the colon, so hurting from there. Potting up is managing to save his tower, however. Shea also dodging a scatter of the week in the mid lane. Cinder, like you said, coming up onto the power spike has the ultimate available, so a lot of kill potential still opened up despite losing the early 2v2. Although, hold on a second, because Shea oh. did proc the chain, doesn't connect with it, instead of distortions back to his original clone. Yep, oh, but there's the Destined yeah. hook onto Janna. Will they find the double flay? They do, but SMLZ already disengaged from the trade. So Gamti going to walk away with that one. Yep, uh, Tail was ready to protect the Janna on that one, because if he didn't, if he let Janna burn there, he, he would have lost a lot. Lantern into Mystic Hook goes wide right. And a nice ward spots out the initial lane gank for World Lead Academy, and Gamti is going to walk away from it. Look at the minions, though. He, like, if he went any other direction other than the right, like, he would have hit a bunch. Those are, like, but oh, wait a second. Popped okay. his distortion a little bit too early before he got the initial second proc off on that chain. But here we go. Here's this blue contestant that we were talking about. Fiddlesticks completely zoned off of it. It looks like Mystic is going to get a free blue buff. And let me just, uh... Did SMLZ steal it? I saw the True Shop Raj go through, but this camera guy just really likes to watch Maokai. I'm trying to find out based no, on the mana gen. Okay, there we go. I was like, he's not getting any mana, so he shouldn't possibly be having That moment mana. when you're looking at the portraits is the mana regen. <laughs> <laughs> Mystic down bottom, possibly looking for a lantern. Is it going to get it? Well, no, both junglers actually. Fiddlesticks coming in with the Crowstorm does find Yushe. CC change. Oh, but barely flashing up. Nope, there's the okay. counter flash from Tail. Picks up the kill and they disengage. Oh, wait, here comes the calling. Up onto the back, just picks up a couple creeps with that, and that is a one for no trade in favor of Ganty. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Khan knows the jungler's not there. We'll go Cutting a little bit hard on Let Me. <laughs> just right. chopping away. <laughs> just the, like the Knights of Me! <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to get a, some <laughs> what, activist. Was it, a, was it a herring or was it a salmon that he was supposed to chop the tree down with? Or a strawberry? A strawberry! A strawberry. I can't even remember the quote, which is awful, because that's the movie that you're supposed to quote. Speaking of quoting, I don't know how this is going to relate, but Chie caught out. <laughs> eats the Cinder Ultimate, is totally fine. Oh wait, Distortion's back wait, in for kidding? Mystic! Ooh. Mystic is now on to key, here comes a teleport. Khan will get involved in back half, picks up the kill for his time. Will they transition into Dragon or mid, mid lane? Looks like they're going to ping for Dragon, but... Wow, the balls on Shie to clone Distortion back in to try to get the stun with the chain. That could have worked perfectly, or he could have looked like a complete fool, and thank god that worked out perfectly. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was really well played, and they get the dragon off of it too, so that was... that was, That's amazing. Word of the Academy finally starting to show up again. They were the favorites to win this, and Gamti ran away with it the first game. WEA really starting to make waves here. Oh, and here comes the... Oh, wow. oh, yeah, he's just clearing out the top lane with it. I was actually expecting something a little bit better, but you know what? Just kidding. What? He, he just got... Yeah. He got, like, 48 gold right there. Did he actually? It did show... It showed, like, 15 gold no, on top No, he got of his probably, head. like, 20. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth it, though. You never know when you gotta go back, and suddenly it's like, oh, I just have right enough... Uh, right enough gold. Uh -huh. Again, see, you see how the accent changes? He like okay, suddenly yeah. got like almost Boston there, like New York 30s banker. I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, I got almost uh, 50 gold in the bank. You went I'm totally gonna, the opposite direction there. I'm never gonna make this, <laughs> I'm never gonna do this again, I'm sorry. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, I, uh, oh, hold on a second, because here we go. Khan, forcing off Let Me Again, really starting to show his dominance, does have that sheen damage. As well as the ooh, lantern into a flay. They oh, get the box on there. There goes John. A mystic now on the chase for tail. Will he find it? Does have the red buff. Dodging the calling out with a nice stealth ooh. to the side. But okay. did pick up the support for his trouble. Extremely well done. It doesn't even matter if mystic is seen through the lane. He just walks through, gets the lantern, and it's pretty much dead for um, John 100% of the time. It's really well played. Of course, unless last time when the minion wave came in at that one perfect outing. But... Uh, this time around, Minion Wave uh, decided to do, they weren't going to save their lives, so... I got to listen to a um, 
Oh, hold on, though, because Death Sentence lands again into the True oh. Shot Barrage. I actually think he went slightly left on that, so didn't get the burst damage, but doesn't matter. Tail is surely dead. Another kill over to SMLZ. Skill shots are hard. Okay, I'm going to give him that much. It was all about sending a message. I, as I was saying, I was, uh... I got to listen to a play-by-play -play caster of a traditional sport, like football, soccer, lacrosse, like mainstream sports. Yeah. And he, he knows nothing about League of Legends. Um, okay. He knows very basics. And he came into our room and he tried to do a play-by-play -play cast of League of Legends. But he yeah. has kind of that classic, like, 30s boxer announcing voice. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. In the ring! Muhammad Ali! Takes a, you know, like, one of those. Yeah. So he yeah. was casting League of Legends. It, it was one of the most entertaining things I've ever witnessed. I as like GA is looking for the proc. He kept talking about a wide open field and... Speaking of wide open field, let me getting chopped down in this wide open field. Double flash manages to get away from it. Khan cannot find the final tick of the ultimate right there, and let me is actually going to waddle out of that blinking red. Yeah, oh, never mind, the there's one, Mystic. Two. Oh, there we go, Mystic. Just and Mystic from the backside. <laughs> it's exactly what he needed, folks. <laughs> She yeah, getting really crafty trying to do distortion from Fog of War right there, find the chain procs, misses the skill shot, so Key is going to walk out with his life right there, but mm. She pretty oh. confident right now with his power spike. He's just literally just like, just blinking around the entire lane, just like left and right, you really just don't know where to gank him from, it's, this is how LeBlanc should be played, if LeBlanc should be played at all, but it's, it's, he's playing it correctly, so that, that's one thing. Um... Yeah, this bot lane right now, it looks like, yeah, World Elite is just taking control of this game, really. It's kind of interesting to see. I feel, is it safe to say that Ezreal has had, like, a 100% win rate, or am I completely off? Because I feel like I'm, I could, I don't, I have no confidence in myself anymore. I don't believe he's 100%. He has appeared quite a bit in the tournament in both mid and AD carry, though, but... Oh, I, I should be more specific, like, this, <laughs> like with this series alone. Oh, yes. Okay. Thanks. SNLZ has yeah. played him twice and he's won every single time. Well, okay. he could be winning every single time. He is certainly ahead the second time around, but he won the uh, the first game that he played him. But speaking of which, Fiddlesticks standing off in the side looking for the Crow Storm of the Wall again. Khan in the top lane. This camera guy just loves top lane. Oh, but yeah. Chie diving the tower has the ignite. Oh. Surely the last tick will pick it up. That's a free blue buff. And he actually oh. ganked him from the Wraith camp. That is ridiculous. He's li he's just playing this matchup so ri he oh my god. I'm just taking notes at this point of how I should play or anyone really should play uh, LeBlanc into these lanes because he's taking advantage of the wait. Is he just okay? He's he was stunned. Thank Things god. are going up like... though, so she is starting to make a very wide rotation up into this top lane. We'll see if Khan is going to prep the wave. Likewise, True Shot Barrage SMLZ wants a piece of that. Yeah. I don't think he caught let me though. Nope. Okay, here he goes. Let me walking into Shie. Distortion forward has the chain. It will surely proc. Khan trying to get involved. Will he be slow enough? He's done for. Two chains. And, and they're trying to give the kill to Khan. Oh, nope. Shie says too <laughs> slow. Kidding? Oh, the, the blade sword <laughs> steel says nope. That's mine. All right. For a second there, like I felt like the generosity was gonna backlash with that <laughs> if, if Malkai lived out of that one. But. Playing with your food I think is quite appropriate right now as she now goes back to the mid lane sitting on a ward. Oh jeez, he gets feared when he goes back to his uh, point of... oh there we go, okay. Back to his distortion, so... Just like pop open a beer. <laughs> no, my pen actually fell. I was taking oh. a note actually and my pen fell down. <laughs> So that's the saddest thing. I just imagine <laughs> this game's over, pops the beer. <laughs> <laughs> We're done for the night, man. <laughs> okay, but this game is... Oh, really, Shia? He's just taking control at this point. And with that, World Elite Academy does have complete control as this dragon is now up and live, although SMLZ untimely back will not be available for it, but neither is Ganty. We'll see which team postures for it first. Hmm, this, I really, I'm trying to figure out a point in which GamT can start, like, can get a foothold in this game, and it, it starts with Dragon, but do they really want a Dragon against this team? It, no, and it feels like they don't even have vision, so, like, we, well, it doesn't look like they're gonna contest in any way, they will see Shie making his way 
through the river that direction, but too little too late, and another free uncontested dragon over to World Lead Academy, increasing their gold lead 9 to 1 in favor, 27k to 19k, so closing in on that 10k advantage that is really going to hurt Gamty, especially because they don't really have a lot of answers late scaling into this game. Yep, uh, there's one uh, commonality between these games. Uh, the games in which Gamty have lost, they didn't pick the Galio. <laughs> they didn't... That's, uh, in all seriousness, though, it just hasn't been working out, and the top laner has been getting bullied out quite often on the knockout picks. So, it's it's not working out for him. It's Honestly, Khan is able to take control of this lane at every opportunity, and we're able to see that because the cameraman just loves to showcase it. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, excuse me, in the bot lane, SMLZ left completely alone. So many resources side of mid lane as Gamti was trying to force down that mid-tier outer tower trades the bot outer tower for himself yep oh god and I'm, i feel so iffy about this leblanc build, oh leblanc but, actually oh. over the wall finds the fiddlesticks will he be able to follow up on the kill but meanwhile in the bot lane smlz trying to kill tail here comes the teleport will he get it in time he gets it but straight to a maokai twist advance hello thank you let me finally on the board for this game and that's why you should land your skill shot, folks. If he uh, killed him a little sooner with one of those Qs, he would have been alright. But and oh, in the wait middle a of that, though, Shie did manage to pick up the kill on Fiddlesticks. Will he get two of them? Nope. He will fall to the thresh. <laughs> Likewise, Jana down behind the tower finds the Descent. It's on Let Me, throws the lantern to Shie. Will he pick up another kill? Who are they going to give it to? It is going to be to Shie. And that uh, is a four for one trade. Oh jeez, I thought there was only supposed to be a 1v1 in the, uh, in the UFC Pentagon. That was just it's kind of unfair, the 1v5 there. It seemed like a 1v5. I think it was actually, yeah, just the passive from... No, it was, it was everyone was there. Okay, I thought I was going to get uh, mixed up by the uh, clone from Xie, but Xie is uh, quite topped up, so... And with that, they do pick up the outer mid tower, which means that the only standing outer for Gamty is going to be that top lane. We'll see what World Lead Academy is going to do, especially because there is no threat of a dragon being contested should they decide to swing top and pick that up. Ooh, and this is just... This is dominating. It feels like in every game, as I said, like, you've just had complete dominance from either teams. And this is just an issue, of course, that both teams will face when they get into the LPL. They, well, if either team gets into the LPL because oh, we'll hold on a second Ooh. though because Jana, excuse me, Fiddlesticks got on again, the kill will go over to SMLZ but it was a nice initial catch by Mystic and Yushe right there and this will be another free blue buff to World Lead Academy from the enemy jungle, this Fiddlesticks just cannot catch a break yep, he uh it, is, it just isn't working and he's nowhere near to getting his Zonias so it's, it's, it's not looking good folks, it really isn't it really isn't <laughs> Meanwhile, on the top lane, Khan, two level advantage over Let Me Right Now as World Lead Academy starts to take control of the enemy red buff jungle. Tail taking quite a bit of damage of uh, Shie, starting to get some defensive pink wards out, but I don't know how long they can hold their borders. And Khan's able to get the top lane, possibly? Yeah, he's going to commit to it. Yeah, he's got it. Um, while the bot lane looks like it may face the same fate. And... Are we gonna... Oh god, he's, he's doing way too much damage. It's Tried to be my... for the Crow Storm. Unfortunately, <laughs> Crow Storm does not connect. That is a massive ultimate down for Gamsy right here. That's when you just put in the surrender vote. <laughs> That's, at that point, you're like, alright, we're done, boys. No more embarrassment. Uh, I'm happy with the rest. I can take the next, uh, the next match. Oh, huge damage coming from Fiddlesticks, finds the fear under the tower, Shea is going to walk out of that, now it's Khan caught under the tower, trying to dive the Maokai with the Kha'Zix, they do get the kill, hop away from the tower, both of them going to walk away from that. And while the bottom lane is pushed up rather well, it looks like they're going to be going for a, a mid lane turret, but they do have Lucian, and Lucian he doesn't yet have calling, so he should be able to really put much pressure onto this uh, lane. It looks like, yeah, this tower will go into their favor. Here. Oh, hold on a second, because Syndra up into the top lane finds the ultimate. Will she find the double kill, however? Mystic stealthed in, jumps in, find the isolation damage. Oh, but no, outplayed for the double kill. Oh. And Key finally on the board. 2 4 and 0 right now, but that's a good chunk of change to take back to the base. And Gamti still not going to surrender. Want to fight this one out? Again, the winner from this match is she actually looking for the kill. Secret. Agent, nope, dead. Uh, uh. 
Yeah, MT yeah. not willing to surrender out this game. Both games have been surrendered so far, but last game of the set, team who wins this will move on to qualify for LPL. Don't worry though, Gam T fans or World Elite Academy fans, there could be a massive throw still. The yep. loser will fall into the loser's bracket and will face DK. And the winner of that game will be the fourth and final team to join Vici Gaming and Energy Pacemaker in the LPL. There's just there's one key factor, just one thing that they have to hope on, uh, Gam T, and it and it's belief, man. They just they just gotta they, they just gotta you know they can't stop believing. Don't stop. I was gonna do it. No, <laughs> believing. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sail, relentless pursuit over the wall, doesn't matter, Mystic's gonna hop after them, walks past the calling with the movement speed. Yep. And there's the isolation proc, dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best thing about Lucian's mechanics is the fact that he can't turn around, and it, you can imagine it in a real life setting in which a man simply literally cannot turn his body while he's just like, shooting I'm a big randomly. favor of Mystic maxing Q on Kha'Zix. Yeah, actually, that's pretty nice. As opposed to W. It is, I like the idea behind it. it He's done it two games in a row. Hmm. Wait a minute. There's the surrender. I, yeah, it has to be a mm. surrender. I was like, I don't know about and that. And with there that, we, we have a surrender every single game of the series. But here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the third team to join the LPL, World Elite Academy, requalifies for their spot. And unfortunately, GAMT won't be qualifying just yet. They still have to prove themselves in the next matchup against Team DK. So, jeez. It's looking hot. I... <laughs> But yes, don't go anywhere. We will be covering the last and final series. However, Raz will be leaving us. I will be joined on the cast with Pastry Time. I don't know if I'm going to continue to be play by play or if I'll get moved back over to color. But again, Energy Pacemaker, World Lead Academy, and Vici Gaming have all now qualified for the next series of LPL. The, uh, the best of three coming up will be Game T versus DK for the final spot. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, I won't be able to join you there. And thanks a lot for having me. It was really, it was really fun. Uh, as often as I don't know, it was, it was interesting. It was a great experience, honestly. I loved it. Take an E, Raz. It's fine. We'll be right back. <laughs>